Hi guys, this is Duke Doom and this is a new series that I'm going to publish hopefully every Friday. And it's not ASMR. My god, what have I done? Well, I'm going to explain it. Uh, I'm a cinephile. I love movies as you can see. I have a whole room dedicated to movies in Old Castle Doom. So I thought every Friday I'm going to do a review video of some new videos that I've seen, some older videos that I have, uh, and it doesn't have to necessarily be Blu-ray or DVD, it could very well be a VHS tape. Because uh, most movies these days are available online, if not by purchase. So, I hope you will enjoy this new addition to Darkest Star, the Darkest Star brand, if you will, excuse me. So, with that said, welcome to the first episode of Duke Reviews. Now, this is uh, coming out on a Saturday, <laughs> because I just came up with idea, but anyway... Next one will be on a Friday. So I have two movies that I purchased in a sale. They were like five bucks each, ten bucks, uh, ten euro. No, I can't really. I, I really, really need, they were cheap as hell. In Swedish, I think they were like. 10 kroner stick, 10 crowns a piece, which isn't much. It's uh, basically a can of coke. Anyway, I'm going to start with uh, this one. This is Beyond Therapy or Beyond Treatment. Its actual title is actually Beyond Remedy, but this is a Norwegian print and I don't know maybe they thought that Beyond Treatment was a more saleable title for the movie instead of Remedy I don't know it's a German movie I think it's from uh, 2009 and uh, well what can I say about this one it was okay uh, I didn't I didn't get bored during the movie, which is a plus, I think. It's about a clinic, an abandoned old clinic that's been rented by two doctors who say they have a revolutionary technique to uh, cure phobias. So it's a bunch of kids coming to the clinic, uh, which all have phobias, for uh, fear of height, Fear of drowning, etc., etc., fear of the dark. And very soon, one by one, start to get killed off by a murderer. <laughs> so, this is not a paranormal movie. At least, not in the sense that it's a ghost killing people. I just wanted to get that out of the way because uh, I myself thought it might have been some kind of house on Haunted Hill, which I love. Uh, connected thing you know but it isn't it's a slasher with some uh, dream dreamy scenery in it and it's not very well acted <laughs> uh, it's German actor speaking English and the only one that I actually <laughs> recognize is Rick June the Asian guy he played in uh, uh, f Fast and the Furious Drift, I think. And there's another old gentleman, the man who plays the head doctor. And this is a really a budget uh, copy of the movie because I can't even make out what it says over here. But I think uh, his name is David Gant, who makes his best uh, Christopher Lee impression. Can I recommend it if you have? One and a half, ninety minutes over, and you have nothing else to see. I would give Beyond Remedy a two point five out of five. It's not a, it's not a totally miserable movie by any means, but uh, yeah, if you find it in the bargain bin, give it a go. It has some blood, gore, 
some decent effects uh, but it's and a twist ending which was pretty good actually so yeah beyond remedy that's the first one i'm going to review today the second one is a mexican movie called mexico barbaro which is a anthology of short horror films made by Bra by brazilian by brazilian directors among those uh, Lex Ortega uh, I don't know uh, I don't know but anyway one of the reviews or selling points here on the back says almost so weird that it automatically become brilliant Mavra Castro he was the producer of the movie I guess they couldn't give get anyone else to say anything positive it has a lot of like um, official selection morbido film fast mexico blah 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 this movie sucks ass <laughs> i'm sorry to have to say it imagine if you will a bunch of uh, short horror related movies without any point whatsoever there are like no punchline in them let me just take one for an example. Uh, there's an apartment building and outside is a bum who looks like kind of... <laughs> well, he looks like a reggae guy, you know. He has this like rastas and shit. And every time a little girl in one of the uh, apartments uh, sees him, she says, Il monstro, il monstro, the monster. And yeah, that's pretty much the build up until he kills the girl and sells her sells her uh, body parts to a doctor and an end and the end you know there's no there's no re, there's no clever twists to any of these stories in one part uh, two sisters live together and she sees the one sister sees a demon who uh, tells the other girl to to collect the, the sister's menstrual blood for some reason and she does and the next it ends with the girl who stole the blood is getting banged by some kind of a girl demon thing there's no point to these stories you know like take a move like creep show where they had a payoff this is just like Oh, let's show, uh, let's, let's show the short movie where someone kills another person. How would will it end? Does it have to end? He kills a person, that's it. I would give uh, Mexico Barbaro a uh, 1 out of 5. This movie was not good. And it was not certainly not worth more than what I paid for it. So, with that said... Oh, I forgot to take out uh, the main piece here. Oh, there it is. So, the last movie I would like to review a little quick and give you... Uh, uh, I, I am trying to make like one good movie each review. And this is The Seventh Seal by Ingmar Bergman. Yes, the classic movie. Uh, it's about a medieval knight who comes home to Sweden, losing all his faith because he has seen so much despair and killing. And the plague is ravaging Sweden. Uh, so he knows his time is up and he makes a deal with the death, death himself. That he plays a game of chess with him and as long as he's winning he will not die. And, again, and then he gets like on a crusade across Sweden to find a meaning behind everything and kind of find a, a meaning for life and death and figure out if, if there's anything after death because he's deadly afraid of it's just being black. He thinks God has abandoned him and it has a lot of suggestive powerful scenes and it's not as pretentious or... I mean, a lot of people, when I say The Seventh Seal and Ingmar Bergman in one sentence, they think it's an, uh, 
humorless, uh, depressing journey into kind of like a twisted mind. I can agree on the twisted mind, but this it has a lot of humor. Pretty, pretty, should I say, modern humor. One-liners, if you want. It also has a lovable cast of Max von Sydow, uh, Nils Poppe, uh, Bibi Andersson, Gunnar Björnstrand, Åke Fridell. Now, is this a horror movie? I would say yes, definitely a horror movie. It has a gothic setting, especially towards the end where they enter the knight's old castle which is on the seaside and it almost gives me Mario Bava vibes and of course death ends up uh, catching them it's not a spoiler everyone should know that it's, it, it doesn't matter it's about the journey actually not about the ending of the movie uh, the seventh seal has age so good this version that I had have is from uh, I think it's Tartan video it has both English and uh, the Swedish language so it's dubbed in English or you can have the original language and I've seen both versions and actually the the English uh, dubbed version makes it even more of a gothic horror story you know there are some really really nice images of uh, pain and torture you know like these these uh, guys who have been struck by plague who whips themselves and tries to you know there's a witch burning uh, there's rotting corpses <laughs> it has a lot of horror elements I would definitely put it in the horror genre so these are the movies for this first episode of the Duke reviews so we have one 2.5, which is okay for a rainy day. This one, which is a 1 out of 5, wouldn't recommend it. And finally, 5 out of 5, one of my favorite all-time movies, The Seventh Seal, The Hund in Seaglet. So if you can pick up at least this one and you don't have anything to do over the weekend, go for it. This was uh, my first review, I, I'm sorry, I have done reviews earlier on the channel, but this is the one where I'm not doing ASMR per se. Uh, I'm actually talking with my normal voice here, as you might hear. Uh, so, I hope you like it, and if you have any suggestions of what I'm going to review, please put it in the description. Until next time, have a lovely movie week. Bye.